All right, so we're turning onto Glen Island. Um, this is where they had like, oh my God. Oh, what? Shit, look at that, guys. In half a mile. Glen Island is down. shut down, guys. We cannot oh my God. get on it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are doing a vlog today. Chris is doing one as well. We have two videos coming out about the coronavirus, but we wanted to post this one today because we found out something insane this morning. So I was sleeping and I woke up to a call from my dad. I'm here with Chris Starr, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, thought y'all would know that already. Chris actually grabbed my phone. <laughs> Why did you do that? Because I thought it was my alarm going off. I'm like, here you go. It's yeah, I was like sorry. trying to grab my phone and she grabs it from me and looks at it. <laughs> that was my alarm. It's so annoying. <laughs> so it was my dad calling and he was looking at an article. He was also talking to someone who lives in New York. So there is a town right by us in New York called New Rochelle and they are actually a containment zone so basically the people that live there are saying that they're quarantined but they're not calling it quarantine I guess maybe they don't want us to freak out I don't know I think they don't want to cause mass hysteria I don't know maybe people can't leave their houses oh yeah so they can't even leave their houses apparently like there was a lady on this article I read she said that they're calling it a containment zone but they are basically quarantined by definition is what she said and they can't leave their houses they can't walk on the sidewalks I think there's a lot of things closed down right yeah so this is uh this is a jewish community from what i know and i know that jewish communities tend to be very in involved uh with their religion and with their family so they're a very close-knit group of people and i feel like obviously that could spread like yeah. wildfire and it has um the people in the area that are affected now have reached what is it 200 i think 108 just in new rochelle yeah, is what i, I read it was up to 200 last night yeah the numbers are changing by the minute guys so we if don't you, know yeah. yeah if you're watching this and the numbers aren't correct it's because when we were filming it we we were going off the numbers that we were given yeah on the news sometimes they like overdo it or sometimes they don't you know they and don't it necessarily by the know it it's does literally freaking changing as we speak guys so what we heard on this article i'm not sure if all of this is accurate but this is what the studies have shown so basically if you like sneeze or anything like the virus this is unheard of by the way the virus could stay airborne like in that area for three hours and you can you can contract it for three hours basically if someone coughs or sneezes and it could if it's on your phone or something like it could stay on an object for like three days so you can contract the virus by touching something for if someone coughs on it i guess or if the virus goes to it somehow that's like for three really, days honestly really scary no, it's like really freaking scary. Every minute, like something has changed. Like, I don't know if I'll be able to get home by the, like, because it's changing so much. Don't know if they're gonna shut down airports. In my area, especially, I live 15 mm -hmm. minutes outside New York City, about 10 miles away from the Lincoln Tunnel. So I'm really close to where the madness is happening. One of the first areas in the country that look like it might entirely be shut down. Yeah. Um, we don't know if it's a rumor. We, we, do you think that Trump, right? Trump was actually talking about shutting down the bridges in New York City, which is why we didn't yeah. go to New York City. Yeah, there weekend. were like rumors spreading around. I don't know if <sighs> it, they were Trump true or not, or, or if, yeah. yeah. So, oh, <laughs> we're jinx. So we decided not to go to New York. We're gonna film a bunch of stuff there, and we had all these plans. Like, we're gonna go we to the museum yeah. and everything. We bought tickets for stuff, and like, we can't we, even go. Like, we, we don't wanna risk going. Yeah, we're risking going to the payment zone i know maybe we can make masks or something i don't freaking know i wait hold on do you have a mask those are the ones did i have it the whole time? n95 wait guys i'm pretty sure i had n95 masks in my in my in my kitchen the entire time yeah they have a filter in it i'm so stupid <laughs> We could have worn these to Walmart. We went to really Walmart last night. Are you really <laughs> resting your camera on my jelly? <laughs> we could have worn these to Walmart last night. Stop. <laughs> I don't know if masks prevent it. Like some people are saying that it could go through your eyes and stuff, but I don't know. We 
we want to be safe so we're probably gonna wear these just in case but I heard N95s are like filtered and they really protect around here some masks like kind of flow on your face you know so yeah. we are about to go to New Rochelle heading to what CVS first we're gonna go to CVS yeah get our elderberries and then we'll be oh off. I need some mascara too we'll be off to so important Kelsey <laughs> then <laughs> mask Gara ha. ah so we went into CVS everything was like pretty normal in there there was nothing missing or anything phone call completed oh. Whereas at Walmart, we went last night and it was freaking psychotic. You'll see that in my next video. I was just trying to text Tiffany because she's in Virginia. Uh, she left Virginia. Boston schools completely shut down. What? Um, in Virginia in, too? In Virginia and apparently they're in Florida and she doesn't know if she can get back home. <gasps> really? Her flight might be canceled so she can always drive. But True. I haven't gotten any messages saying my flight's canceled or anything so that's... Good, I guess. Tiffany is Omar's fiance. If you don't know who I'm talking about, you probably do, but just in case, uh, Omar Gosh TV is, Tiffany is Omar Gosh TV's fiance. <laughs> so she's, um, she might be stuck in Florida, which is. I mean, she could always drive home. But still, I it's mean, like, for you to drive back to California, I mean, it's possible if you like absolutely needed to, but that would take you four days. That would days. take a long time. Yeah, that would take four days to get back. <laughs> yeah, that would definitely be hard. So I was actually telling Chris just now that this all reminds me of the movie Contagion. Like, Contagion? Contagious? Contagion? I think it's Contagion. So it's a movie. They actually have an old movie of it and they just came out with a new one as well. They like remade it and everything. And it's basically a virus started by like one one movie, the newer one, I think the virus starts in a restaurant where this one of the cooks didn't wash his hands or something and the lady ate something and she got it. And then, then the first movie, it was caused by a monkey. If you guys haven't seen that movie, go check it out. It's really good. It reminds me of Contagion, basically, is what I'm saying. <laughs> that movie. Is that guy in a hazmat suit? Where? Dude, there's a guy walking outside into that truck. In like Stop, a- Stop, don't- full, No, I'm not kidding. In like a full body outfit with gloves and everything. Kelsey, is blood all over him. That's me. Oh. Do you see what they're carrying in? They're carrying- False alarm, they were- That was actually really disturbing. They were like transporting like animals, dead animals into a shop just now. Look, see, that's what I saw. <gasps> I cannot. <gasps> okay, that's really disturbing. We're right near New York City and the city of New Rochelle. This is hard to breathe in. There was a guy on my flight and he wore this through the security line on the entire flight the whole time, had it still on after the flight. Like he was probably sweating under here, man. I'm vlogging on two cameras. <laughs> You're not there yet. Turn mine off. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care if we look stupid. We're taking precautions, okay? Lord, what in the front? <laughs> we are seven minutes away. Oh my god. Our anxiety is through the roof right now. Whoa, there's like a castle. Oh shit. What is that? There's a castle, guys. There's a castle. The a mile. for a new Rochelle right now. Should we like turn into there? Like, I don't know where we're, we should go. Yeah, should we go? Or should we? What if I get stuck in there? Oh, <gasps> what is this? What is this, guys? There's like a line. Oh, it's a red. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a red light. <laughs> oh my god, we're so stupid. <laughs> we're like, holy shit! Oh, it's a red a light. <laughs> it's a red light. False alarm. <laughs> is this the quarantine line? <laughs> That's what I thought it was. Oh my god. I wonder what part, because it's a part of New Rochelle. It's like a mile radius that's yeah, all driving to it right now. I mean, I don't see anyone outside, but I don't know if we're in that area yet. That's a thing. Um, so schools, jobs, everything has been canceled until further notice. Yeah, you can see there's no one at school up here. Yeah, the room is getting kind of empty up here. Look. Guys, Look so what we found on the map. This, yeah, this is on the map. This actually says health risk, coronavirus, 
health risk. Uh, COVID-19. So we're right. We're right That's here. That's where we are, so we gotta go a little. Right onto Interlock and Drive. Then the destination is on your right. Oops. We'll have to look at the map. In 600 feet, the destination is on your right. 12 Interlock and Drive. So maybe people on the street have it. So look at the map, guys. Look at all these. Are we on it yet? We're not on it. We're not over to it yet. We're pretty freaking close though, look. If we keep driving, I think we're gonna see it. I'm pretty sure that people on this block have it because they made it a mile radius up until this point. Yeah. So I have a feeling that people in this area have been infected. Holy f Kelsey. Oh, there's a guy outside. Look. We literally are like on top of it right now. Yeah. This is the area. We're on top of the advisory. Should we go in more? Like, I don't, I'm like scared. So apparently they're quarantined in their houses down here. Yeah. I really everyone, don't see anyone. Like everyone is in quarantine over here, guys. This, this is, is the hospital. emergency room right here. Right here. Is it? Yeah, that's the emergency room. Oh, look, look, look. Oh, <gasps> shit. Look at all the ambulances. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dude, these people have masks on in the ambulances. Turn right. Do they? Yeah, we should pull into the, dude, parking lot. Yeah. Guys, there's like, look at, there's police. Okay, let's see, let's see. We're turning here. We might have to make, we might, yeah, we might have to go back. There's like a lot of ambulances. Look. You can see in the mask? I don't, I think you can on yours, yeah. He has a mask on and he does too. That's like three ambulances just right there, just today, guys, just today. That was pretty crazy. Like that was just three ambulances we saw and each person had masks on, like everyone had masks. So maybe they had symptoms, maybe they had it. Like we don't know, but that was, that was pretty crazy that we saw three ambulances. The weirdest part that me and Chris have been like tripping out about is like, so we've been driving around in the containment zone. Like it shows on the map it's contained, it shows on all the news that it's contained, but then we drive through and we see people walking around, no masks, just walking around, doing their thing. That's like how it's gonna spread too, is people not taking it seriously. That's how it's gotten this bad and people still are like, oh, whatever. You know, like people are just walking around, do do do, but. I don't know, I think it's just really weird that people don't take it seriously when people are freaking being hospitalized right in front of our eyes. Like, there are people walking by the hospital, no masks or anything. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. It's so freaking weird. I mean, there is a shortage of masks, but like... They could I mean, still like not, I don't know. I just feel like there's so many people that are just not giving a shit about At the light. Like, I don't care if people think we're overreacting and stuff, like, whatever. At least we're trying to be safe and we're trying to prevent the spread of it because if you try to prevent the spread of it, then it'll help a lot, but then people don't give a shit. Don't wash their hands. Like, wash your hands. <laughs> I'm all ranting. Wash, wash your, your damn hands. hands. All right, so we're turning onto Glen Island. Um, this is where they had, like, Oh my god. Oh, what? Shit, look at that, guys. In half a mile. Glen Island is mouth. shut down, guys. We cannot oh my god. get on it. There's tents. Are those? Oh, wait, those are boats. <laughs> These are tents. We're gonna pass by it, so. Oh my god, okay, I gotta try to freaking get know. this together. Okay, here we go. Keep all windows closed. Oh my what? god. What the f Guys, look, it says keep all windows closed on the side. Oh my god, we're on the Wave to him. Hello. <laughs> How he's not taking funny. pictures of me. That guy. Oh my. Wait, let's pull over. Holy shit. This is insane. It says keep all windows closed. Like, I don't want to get out of the f car. The media's here and it says to keep your windows shut. But then the media's just outside, no masks. They were just taking pictures of us with masks on. I know. Oh, 
guys, there's like all this. This is freaking crazy. Look, all these people are driving in. Yeah, no, I think you can go in if you want to get tested. All these people are going to get tested. There's like a cop up there. Oh my f god. Like, What'd she say? I mean, it's easy for them to go around us. You're in people's way too. So one of the news reporter ladies like yelled at us, <laughs> so he <we> left. <laughs> I don't know what she said. She was just being mean. You're blocking traffic, but we weren't, so I don't know. And then like I rolled my window down to tell her she's doing the same thing, and she was just screaming at yeah, me. Yeah, she was doing the same exact thing we were there. She was like mad we were getting a better angle than her or something. It was so weird. All right, guys, we made it home safely. Um, we are actually editing this video right now and posting it in the same day. What? That's how that's how much we wanted you guys to see this. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. We will keep you updated, of course. Also stay tuned for our next videos. We will be doing conspiracy videos on the coronavirus. They will both be very different. And make sure you guys are subscribed to Chris Star as well as myself. Hit that notification bell so that you guys know when we post. And I will see you guys in my next video.